to be good. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I'll I'll tell you my, my update about HRA 1.1 case experience post that we will upload it on the WhatsApp uh, WhatsApp status. As I already discussed with uh, Nadine yesterday, so what I'm going to do with first is uh, Nadine and I asked Nadine and Cynthia to, yesterday to post one villa uh, to, on on their WhatsApp story in Air Support One and Four to see the result, and I will I will I will monitor the the. You know who's the views? Who, who's the viewers about the story? As I said, at least eight random guests was our story, and then I will start to continue this program, sir. So maybe if less than that, I will I will think that there's probably not really active, uh, pro effective ways to post on our WhatsApp status. So I will I will let you know the update by today because uh, I will monitor 24 hours from the first story uploaded. So that's all from me. Do you have anything that you want to ask? Team. Okay, I will continue on Nadine's card since Nadine is not really here, so I'm just going to skip Nadine first. Maybe from God, then yeah, please your update about HRG job three inquiry optimization and improvement. Okay, thank you, Andre. Uh, can you hear me, Andre? Yes, okay, yeah. So, yesterday I had a meeting as well with the list for the analyze. So, actually, uh, we had put uh, mm -hmm. some uh, good suggestion on the on the paper so on there is on the description as well uh, the paper of improvement uh, uh, right in the below so so on the paper improvement uh, after the analysis of the inquiry it will be involved uh, to chap to another chapter uh, that's uh, content and then the revenue management so uh, we are already agree uh, for the revenue management. Uh, we will uh, discuss it every what's called Monday, and then because the, anal the, the the analysis will be done by Friday, and then will be discussed with the HR on Saturday. So the next uh, will be uh, what's called give the suggestion or the feedback to the revenue management on the Monday, and then also with content if there is anything that uh, they can help for 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 improve to convert the inquiry as well. Like that, Andre. Thank you, Katendi. So I see that there's that we write the problem and also the improvement here. So how will you bring that up to the HR team? Uh, I think uh, I, yesterday I already bring up and then uh, we also uh, discussed it on the every Saturday. I think yeah, last last week you didn't join, yeah? I joined last Saturday, Katendi. Yeah, you joined, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. So it will be bring on uh, next Saturday. Thank you, Katendi. So I'm on HRF. Yes. Yep. Um. Excuse me to interrupt. Uh, oh yeah, sure. So I think. Yep. Uh. So would you please like uh make sure the everyone who is new here uh know how to operate uh the trailer and didn't have any uh, don't have any friction, or maybe you're better to share the screen and kind of like uh guide one by one. Good spot, Cynthia. So, uh, the new intern here, guys. Uh, can you open or see any trailer on your screen now? Uh, Joseph, Sin, and Tara, can you see and scroll your screen? So, everything good, yeah, here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Cynthia, for reminding me about that. And thank you for all teams. I will continue the scrum. Kak Tandi, now I'm on HRF.5 tracking the guest journey using bigger. Please your update. Okay, thank you, Andre. So yesterday also uh, I had joined the product development with Mas Bayu and then the Aldo. So there is um one project that I had request with the product development for the filter status of the guest journey. So the developer will be Aldo and then Mas Bayu will, will monitoring of that. Uh, but we had a, a new, let's call a new outcome. So actually, I would like to make a, a new pivot for this card. So to make this uh, guest journey scalable, so it should be done by by staff uh, also. So the staff will be responsible for the room ready, guest check in, and then guest check out. So and on the HR team, we need to train the staff as well, and then also uh, work together with the community. Uh, for Mac or remind them uh, actually every day to to fill the the what's called the guest journey uh, so it can be the one of the workflow of, of their work as well 
So on our side, it's only need to be a uh, checklist for the arrival time and then the review. So it will be split by the staff and then by the uh, BV team. So we, we not uh, no need to check all the list of the guest journey. So it will be like a separate. So because if, if we if we checklist all the of the the things, it will be more uh, much. But yeah, we need to split with the staff because they, they know the actual condition on the on the field when the guest check out and then when the guest check in and then is the room and ready or not. So we we only need to deliver the information about the time and then the, the review like that. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Katendi. I think this cut is also haven't been uh complete yet the information there maybe rather than you have to pop up a new initiative or pivot card you can also complete this one it may be the intended outcome the hypothesis and uh, how will we know we still align with what's you're going to be pivot i think you can still use this card so i believe that jinx open his mic so sorry we want to say something oh okay okay just that, Kat Andy, thank you. I will uh, continue about your HRF.8 using virtual tour to support the pre hosting. Please, the floor is yours. Okay, so yesterday also I had a subdivision on meeting with Aldo. So actually, uh, I would like to know what, what is uh, Aldo friction uh, right now uh, to, to, to take the photo of the, of the property. So he said, like, um, he didn't have uh, much bandwidth for taking the photo, and then uh, he said like uh, maybe can continue uh, can 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 continue the taking photo of the property by the next week. But uh, since we have a check in on this week for the kubu nyang nyang and then some property, so I will I will help uh, Aldo to take a photo for the Kayana and the kubu nyang nyang uh, by today. So today I will I will go to Uluwatu. So I will be go there around 3 p.m. today. Okay, Kat, and the, about the virtual tour, is it the same with the properties too? So what will you take on the virtual tour? The the destination around or? The, the photo what? of the property. The photo of the property. So what's the difference with the 360 video? Oh, I oh I believe it, the the virtual tour will be only the, the photo of the property and shared to the guests like that. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, for the F.8, this is uh, for the pre-hosting, and then the, the other card is the for the dealing. Hmm. I think I, I think I saw that something really cool. Uh, we can correlate this two things. I, I guess that the 360 video can also help them in a video tour rather than you have to pop up a new things one. But I will open for any feedback. Do you have any feedback, Tim, about this? No? Okay, maybe Kat Dendi, you can also uh, consider more about this. And I believe that uh, this also can really helpful about that, that yes. using photo. But I'm still considering that maybe the 360 can also help them into the tour on the property. Thank you, Kat Dendi. Uh, Rian here, give no update. I will skip it. I'm on Caroline. Caroline, uh, would you like to give the update about creating digital guidebook to support remote hosting? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So the update is I'm moving the due date to tomorrow. So I'm going to finish the second draft and then I'm going to present it to Villa Tortoise uh, guests on 25th of July. And also I'm, I'm asking I'm asking help from Katendi, Nadine and Andre to co uh, and collecting feedback for the first draft. And I have uh, that distributed already to the guests and I'll have it by today. And and I'm going to have a breakout meeting with the content team at 1 p.m. today. So that's the update. Okay, uh, maybe, uh, who's the secretary today? Oh yes, you can write <laughs> yourself down. <laughs> you can write the uh, meeting template here. And Caroline, where where can we put the feedback on your prototype here? Should we write down to your Slack or on the paper? Uh, it's up to your convenience. Maybe in a paper is better because uh, I can see it better. Okay, sure. Thank you, Caroline. Sure, we will. Uh, for the HR member, if you have sent uh, the prototype to the guest, you can also please give the update here since Caroline already extend her uh, due date to the tomorrow. 
Caroline, I'm on HAR materials competency. Do you have anything that you want to update here? I just uh, learned the refund part yesterday, so that's it, the update. And I'm on process on the case journey. Oh, now you. Has okay, not yeah. that. Thank you, Caroline. Hope you have fun with your learning session. I'm on HRF.8 fixing the root cause on lot six. This is from Jing. I believe this is new one, sir. Please, yours. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you, Nadine and Tendi, who've been working with us to get this uh, resolved. So we got a bad review, um, and it was uh, flagged by Chris Cobain, the owner of the villa. So the response has already been given. Thank you very much to, um, to the team to deal with that. It was a little bit unexpected, but all right. So apparently the the there's some root causes here one is apparently the wi-fi router isn't working as well as it can and i think we already have a new router there was electricity problem for uh, a few days so i think that i'm a little bit surprised about that because i understand there's a gen set on site so i'm not sure what what was leading to that as a root cause um let me turn it over actually to tendy for more comments on it um, Tenny, based on what we've heard in terms of negative feedback for this villa, um, have we or how have we addressed the root causes over to Tendi? Okay, thank you, sir. So, yeah, uh, because previously we have a three month guest there, stay there. Uh, her name is Zola, and then we actively uh, coordinate with the Park, Park Chris, so me and Nadine, uh, for a free feedback from the guests as well. And then actually, Pak Chris, uh, like have a quick, quick action for that as well to fix it, like uh, the Wi-Fi. And then he just uh, what's called uh, buy and two new rotors and then electricity, and then also the what's all the in the toilet as well. But uh, on the case of the of the pancho, so actually, uh, it, it's about the the condition like uh, because. I think this is also facing for the old most of the villa in the in the and Pusa Dua in the in the lot. Uh, that's like um, what's called in English? Uh, I don't know the what haratan itu apa sih? Ras, uh, ras yeah. So it's like a ras. Uh, he he check every every villa and then going around and then go to the pantry and everything. It's it's uh, I because previously I think Pancho is. Uh, uh, UN UN sent for the inspection, right? So because he he really like uh, check everything, and it's it's like an inspection the villa. I don't know like, is it like uh, you or or Wayan uh, tell him for that or not? Because and then the, the staff also uh, think like that. Oh maybe uh, this is from Bukitsa to check the uh, all the villa, and then I I don't, I don't expect also for this bad review because. Wayan Wayana said that uh, Pancho, please uh, book on the Airbnb so you can leave a good review, right? So that's why. And then I, I don't know, it's like uh, happened, so in, it's like uh, unexpected. And then, uh, yeah, and he he comment everything and then tell uh, tell me and then the staff also. Can you go chat? Uh, I would like to check all the villa like that. So so I I I, I don't have any 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 like a long a time to to explain the villa also to to tell about this. So because. He said, "Like, uh, please go. You go. I said, so I want to go uh, stay here, and then I want to go out. When I'm go out, please don't get into the villa as well. So, so it's like uh, we don't have access to to explain it and then to to check everything single thing okay. there as well. Got it. All right. Uh, one. Uh, no, I Pancho, like I said, I thought would actually be more of a mentor than a complainer. Actually, so that was actually very surprising. Uh, two. He." He is coming from a general manager background. I've noticed a lot of general managers tend to have that habit. They like to like really look at the details behind everything. Um, and, and he actually even told me why that wasn't good actually at some point. But uh, all right, so whatever's happened, happened. Um, what what in particular can we address? So the the router has been fixed. I, I assume there was a complaint about the Wi-Fi, right? Okay. Um, some of the other things we can probably not address, right? If there's rust on a hinge or some other part, I don't think most guests would be so uh, particular about looking at, at those particular details. Um, the floorboards. There was some mention about how the floorboards were not so good. Has, has that been addressed already, uh, Tendi? Is there anything we can do about that? Uh, yeah, I think it's 
uh, from from me and then the 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 Zola also that there, there is no no feedback about that it it's it's like a, a small crack like a on near the what's called the 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 fish pool like, uh -huh. like that just like a crack like a, a small sound but not all uh, I think it's uh, mostly it's it's still good uh, condition but it's like like a small I think just a small but I think uh, for that it can be fixed uh, quickly sir okay so I also already tell the staff for fix that as well okay got it all right um, can this be moved to done or does this need to be re-examined at this point yeah I think uh, as uh, and I think Nadine also uh, like us uh, requesting for the retake the photo of the villa I think after Nadine con what's called contract uh, for the content I think we can move it to, to the done okay all right all right okay thank you very much then uh, that's it then okay I'll move this card off yeah sir thank you uh, thank you for the explanation about that but I think this is this is not should not uh, be an initiative but I guess that's just a, uh, a task yeah. we yeah. should complete about that because it's not uh, really related on our project or any initiative just to, to fix one problem there so maybe heads up on that so we can also separate which one is to be the task which one is initiative about this Good so, thank you uh miss chair caroline would you like to move it to the done section on jinx list the fixing road cause on late lot six thank you not and uh, not Tinaki. thank you caroline <laughs> so i'll continue on the discussion uh, management. I think we already covered everything on initiative. Do you have anything that you want to ask Tim, maybe from the intern or, or the HR member? All good. All good. Okay, I'll skip it. I will open the discussion management paper. Oh. I think I shared the wrong paper. <laughs> I cannot, I could not start any screen share. Would you like someone to help maybe from Dandy? Would you like to open the discussion management paper? Um, yeah, let, let me try. I think there's a bad connection as well here. I can start. Uh, a moment yeah. Yeah, Can you see it? Yes. We can see it. Oh, I guess we don't have, uh, we don't really have a new uh, discussion here. So, do you, do you, do you, uh, because we still have plenty of time, we have still 30 minutes to discuss something. Do you have that, uh, maybe from anyone, do you, do you have anything that you want to be discussed or floor today? Uh, I think I have uh, one discussion topic, uh, but uh, I would like to. I uh, will write it first. Yes, please. So to let maybe to let everyone uh, the new interns know. So this is how we flow a a sync up from the chapter. So we're from HAR here. So from we, uh, the, the first we start from the initiative, the default things that uh, the projects that we do. They currently uh, currently do and and then we continue it to the discussion management so discussion management is like when you have anything that you want to discuss or before you want to start something new or you spot something that uh, need to be discussed whole with the, the teams you can also put it put it here so from the other chapter you can also in, involve to this discussion from maybe from the marketing team you can also involve to be on this discussion so that's basically how we roll a uh, Sing up or scrum, we might call it like that. So I think Dandy is finished is writing here. Uh, Dandy, uh, your discussion is about we need more training about reservation and replying the right inquiries to make it match with the question from the guest Dandy. So from this from this discussion, I believe that you find something that not really uh, good about replying or making any re uh, reservation like that. So what do you spot here, Dandy? okay so uh thank you andre for the time so actually um yesterday when when uh i analyzed the what's called the inquiry uh, i think it's uh we in hr uh, uh i think we need to 
to check if the text expander that 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 we made is is matched with the uh, question of the guest, right? So for uh, there is like a, some example that uh, example that we attach here. So for example, like uh, okay, moment uh, like this. Uh, okay, like this. So uh, this guest asking like uh, want to book the floor of bamboo house in Umalas and the budget is uh, blah 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 and then we can book it today and then can you leave me you can you leave me your phone number so and then the reply is like a uh, hi uh, there is uh, the room is available so I will continue for the approval for the next step so and then the, the guest is didn't get back to us as uh, in the next uh, response I think it's it, it's because we, we're not addressing what what the guest uh, asking like the question so it do, do you do you think is this is a match or not uh, i think you can bring to floor under yes thank you so uh, about this case i believe that this is not match with what uh, the question is so this is this the answer is about to giving a pre approval i believe it's like that and uh, and the, the guest is not asking for any of i am not asking it related any of it they are asking for uh, villa. They are asking for some villa and asking for a phone number, which we cannot really give it to the guest. So, I believe that this is not not something that not uh, uh, was not not a, not 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 the not not match answer to what's kind of the question. But in case of that, Andy, I would like to. I believe that that. Uh, we have a reservation 101. We have also hosting 101. Maybe we can also refer from that. We can also go back and use that again. And maybe we can also develop that things again. So rather than, you know, we, we always to tell people one by one, it might uh, take some time. And we can also go back and refer from that uh, document that we have back in the time when there is people are coming to Bikit Pista and having an internship, maybe like that, because I also learned about that too. Uh, how how to how to roll a reservation? How to answer any inquiries like that? So that's basically from me about how to how can we fix about that uh, problem here? So maybe I'll ask from uh, Cynthia here. Cynthia, what do you think is what should we do? Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mister Chair. So actually, on my side, it's kind of like a nebula. Uh, we are always trapped in the same cases in the same problem. Uh, we all and we face this problem since a um, long time, right? So uh, maybe yeah, uh, if you are uh, on a reservation team and even though you have a snippet here, uh, from my side here, don't just use that snippet. I mean, like uh, don't make yourself automatically write that snippet. You can read. Uh, the the question what actually guess need what actually guess uh, looking for uh, so yeah even though it takes or maybe have a more effort than just write a snippet uh, but I think it will be a good and a proper answer to your guess. Uh, if I may back to you again, do you only find this one or? Uh, <laughs> Generally, all HA are doing this, or just in this case. Uh, I, I actually I found uh, um, uh, some uh, here, okay. uh, and then actually, uh, I would like just to heads up this so because uh, this is also will will related to the inquiry conversion, right? Mm -hmm. And then actually, uh, this is for the first week analyze, and then I would like to see for the second week uh, if we still have make the same. This what's called the same uh, mistake, or or we we have improved it like that, and then I will compare it again on the on the, the third week. So so I would like to see like a how 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 long uh, how how what's called how many like we we can improve like in uh, in the every weeks. Do we still uh have make a same mistake, or or we we actually learn from the previous mistake to make a future is more better like that so yeah uh, i will come up with the second second analyze to to see like uh, all the improvement 
Okay, maybe I'll I'll give the floor to Caroline. Do you have anything that uh, your suggestion here about this about this mistake on the case? Not really. Oh, thank you. Okay, maybe from Jing about this. It's still, we are still on the same discussion, sir. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take a page from Ara's book, actually, since Ara is here. And I'm going to just say exactly how I feel about this. Um, this is not good. This is embarrassing. This shows a lack of, of pride. This shows a lack of details. This does not inspire delight. This is the opposite of where we want to go as a company. So as Cynthia has just mentioned before, this is not the first time we've seen it. This is probably the 50th time we've seen it. So this is not a high quality problem. This is a low quality problem. So addressing what Andre mentioned just earlier, to stop the entire chapter, just to teach a few people, I think how to actually address, how to properly answer an inquiry is not an efficient use of chapter's time. The most we can do is to make accountability more clear on what this is about so that, so that this doesn't happen. Um, we can't hold the entire chapter accountable if it's just happening for a few people. So I think as chapter lead, uh, one of my expectations would be that it is identified and prioritized correctly, meaning we understand, we understand who did it, why they did it, and most importantly, if it will stop. Um, because this is not the way to, uh, I'll tell you actually why this is so disappointing too as well. Um, it relates back up to the very early work starting in revenue management. It relates to the early work starting in marketing. So all this work is happening above this particular chapter. It's like to use a baseball analogy, like essentially all the bases are loaded and somehow the batter struck out. And so all the work that was done beforehand collapses when we, do this kind of stuff on inquiries. So know that, especially if you're working in HAR, if you're working on reservations, it is at the very end of a very long line of preparation of work that has preceded. And all you gotta do is just kind of get it over to the next stage or else all the work that happened beforehand has been done in vain. Okay, that's pretty much how I feel about it. It is kind of a boring thing to have to see this again. But thank you, Tendi, for discovering it. I think that's the first step to, to uh, improvement. But um, I think we're all well versed enough in this to be able to solve this as an issue. Um, I don't see people signing the, the responses, right? That's like a basic reservation one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, and I think we can probably guess based on the timing and the account coverage who did it, Andre. So then we don't need to train the entire chapter how to do something where it's just the failing of probably one person. Um, okay, this needs to be improved. It's very important. Thank you, sir. So I believe this should be a, this should be a follow up from the NDS so chapter lead to, to address this uh, case to, so we can improve and you can find who's, uh, yeah, you can find the problem here and fix it later. Now I'm on, uh, on the Jing discussion here. So Jing, you pop up a discussion again about the problem on lot six. So like, what's your address about here, sir? Okay, thank you very much. Um, once again, uh, this is related to something that was brought up to me, and then I delegated it to Tendi and Nadine, and then the outcome is a little bit less than, okay, well, let's just take a look at it. Let's, let's analyze it and see what we could have done better, right? I wanna show you the contrast. One is what our response was. Two is what the owner asked us to respond to, right, with. So let's take a look and see what the difference in tone is. The first is um, if whoever has control of the screen, I believe it's Tendi. Let's take a look at our response, right? Uh, that's the owner's response. On the review of Tendi, I believe. Okay. So uh, thank you, Caroline, uh, for writing this in. I believe this was somehow delegated to Caroline, but uh, all right. So the review from lot six was the road is possible, need to drive slow. This is what we had just discussed about as a root cause. So the first thing that happened was, I'm not sure why, but Chris wrote to me about how this was being handled. Um, I don't know why he would write to me instead of writing directly into the group or to whatever, 
But my assumption is that he felt like it was not going to get done unless he brought it up to my attention. So anyhow, um, bad review, which is normal. Chris even knows that. But this is where I think there is a little bit of contrast, right? So we wrote, dear Christina, we apologize for the unpleasant experience you had at our property. Okay, that's, that's, that's kind of an interesting start, but okay, let's begin there. We take your feedback under consideration as we always work to improve our guest experience. Okay, that's, that's positive, that we can belong. We'll pass this to our team and we again apologize for the inconvenience, especially on our maintenance. Uh, we hope you welcome back in the future and be able to provide better service. Thank you for the feedback. Have a nice day, Caroline. Thank you for visiting. Okay, um, so here's a few things. Let's look and take a look at what the owner asked us to write. So the owner asked us to write, Dear Christina, thank you for your feedback. In spite of a section of the road which is in bad shape, has canceled repairs due to lack of funds caused by COVID-19, we do hope that you enjoy the stay in our beautiful cliffront villa with uninterrupted ocean view uh, ocean views. The villa is continuously well maintained and all modern and good condition. Yet some of the wood flowing needs to remain needs repair, which can be finished in two days. And that's that. All right, let's let's take a look and decide, right? Which is better. Given what we just spoken about, given Tendi's report and everything, which one actually sounds like it's more appropriate? Now let's go over to Cynthia. Cynthia. Reading the owner's response and reading our response, which response do you feel like is more appropriate? Um, yes, yeah, sir. Actually, I'm still uh, reading it right now. So, uh, if I may, I, I will uh, need a little bit of uh, time here. Okay. All right. Let's go over to Andre real quick. Andre, uh, have you had the chance to read it yet? E yes, sir. But I think uh, Caroline is more. more uh, if if I see the the text here, you say that uh, I hope you, we do hope you enjoyed uh, to stay nine beautiful clips. Uh, I absolutely still prefer the Caroline one, sir. But I I I still considering about some words here that maybe we should not mention about. Uh, that we will maybe we will pass this to our team. Maybe we can also change it to should we surely will uh, improve our that. That's what the. Uh, past uh, our support uh, teach me about how to how, how how to we can answer about this particular case, but I'm still prefer with uh, Caroline one. So. Okay, all right. So uh, let's see. Prefer Caroline. Let's go over to Tendi. Tendi, which one do you prefer? Mm, I think. Oh, uh, sorry, but uh, on the Chris side, it's it's more uh, defend, right? uh different on for the for the what the guest comment it's like has cancelled the repair due to COVID. Uh, i think i think that's that's not too true uh i i guess like uh but for the for the because the review is uh, for our future guests right not for that guest actually so for the future guests i think for the future guests i think uh, i will more, more prefer for the Caroline because uh, on this on the Chris, uh, what's called a suggestion. It's 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 more about this guest, and then there is no message for the future guest. Okay, all right. Let's go over to let's see, Shantia. What do you think? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, on my side, maybe I will prefer the owner side uh, mm -hmm. because first of all, uh, the problem is not only for the guest, but we as a partner also has a problem here okay. so here we are before we reply to the guest it that it will be better if we like ask for to the owner first what actually happened and then why and how they handle it first and then from that uh, part we can use that to reply the guest so i think for the partner side here uh, we explain also our uh, our problem but we are also not, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not really agreeing that we are defense because we just say what really happened. And then here, also we say that we will continuously maintain our modern and equipped condition. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Um, Ara is here. Okay, All right. go ahead. Yes, this is interesting. Maybe like just a little insight from my previous experiences air support. Um, I'm actually would say a combine of both of the response. Why? I think on writing a reply of a review, it has to be well structured. 
So at first, we have to uh, make the guest understand that, okay, we listen to your feedback, your review, and we valued that. And then you can suggest um, the uh, the owners that the owners response that okay this is what exactly happened, and then uh, by the end you can actually uh, say again that um, um, thank you and we're looking forward to welcome you again in the future with better service. That's fine, but I think it's a little bit of both because at first we need to show that we truly valued and care about what they write, and then after that we explaining what is going on. This is also for future guests, I would say, because how we handle the review is going to reflect it on how we give the service, right? So it's not just answering one person, but it answers to all future guests too. So yeah, that's pretty much for me. I don't know, uh, maybe over back to Jim. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, I want to also set the context of why we're having these discussions uh, for people who are new here. And I want to make sure that this is not a accusation. This isn't a, 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 a trial, right? This is a way so that we put a lot of minds together to develop a culture around what we actually want to do and how we want to succeed. So one of the things we, we, we talked about yesterday with our human resource was there are oftentimes elephants in the room. There are things that people all see. They, they have conversations later in the lunchroom or in the cigarette break about, but they don't bring it up right at the time when it should be brought up, which is during the time when we can actually fix it. So we're going we're gonna to work hard to change that culture, I think, so that whenever we see a problem, we're going to step on that problem and we're going to try to fix it right then and there while everybody is, is, is aware. It is a little bit, you know, I don't, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, you know, uh, this is my dirty laundry or anything. Why should anyone take a look at it? No, it's about actually getting that correct focus and being able to fix it forever. Okay, I'm going to pass it over to some of the new people here, over to uh, Ching. Ching, what do you think can be done here? Who is right? Uh, that's me, right? <laughs> that's you. Um, I agree with Ara. Uh, I think that it should be a combination because while um, I think we have to identify with um, the negative experiences of the guests, but yet on our part as um, the property manager, uh, company that manages the property, we also want to assure um, the guests that we are working on the negative experiences that they have experienced. So um, I think from the... Re the proposal by um, the host, I think it only um, it address it is more like a defensive um, stance, which um, might relay um, to the guests that um, you feel that um, is negative, but we feel that actually is is quite good. Yeah, so I I do agree that there should be a combination. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go next to Tara. Tara, it's four a.m. and this is very early for. A dramatic review so hopefully this will spice things up um what do you think tara um i agree with both of them um yeah i believe i i could see what both like responses were trying to achieve um but i did feel the actual response like yeah like uh, caroline's response i guess um I, I mean it was good but it was a bit too general and I mean, um, and yeah, just as uh, Shin said, it's important to like acknowledge like the problem, basically. Like we, you really have to just be really specific because um, yeah, it may have seemed like, you know, maybe, you know, cause they're already kind of angry, I'm sure. So like, maybe they would have took that as, oh, so you don't care. Like, you know, like, oh, so you think there's no actual problem. Thanks a lot, you know? So, um, but I do also agree that the owner was a bit too, like he just wanted to like, have an excuse for everything. So yeah, a balance okay. what's needed. Interesting. Very good. Let's go to Caroline. Caroline, uh, somehow this this wound up on your side. I was surprised when I saw your name on it. Caroline, what do you think? Well, I actually, well, I actually also agree with like what you guys have said, and especially R one because a, a combination of both is like I think would be a better response. Since my response is true, it's a bit too generic because I do not possess that much property knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I just respond, I just try to be, I just try to address the problem, but I didn't really tell, like, I didn't really give, like, a, a solve solutions for the guests. Mm -hmm. So the owner have the solutions and, the, like, the, he showed the problems and some solutions. So I think a combination of both would be much better. Got it. Respond. Okay. Good, 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 good. 
Um, how did this get delegated to you, Caroline? I was surprised. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, just because I previously saw like a lot of like negative responses, like in a Trello board that hasn't been responded. So rather than just kind of forget this negative review, so I just kind of respond to it. <laughs> so I'm wow. not sure. Be <laughs> all right, A plus for initiative there. Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, I think I think if we're leading this chapter, we need to be more more aware of that not not have accidentally stumble upon it. Okay. Um, thank you, Caroline, for taking the initiative, actually. That was good, good, I think, setting. All right. Um, a few things I would like to address. Uh, one, we have an inconsistency in what we think and how we speak. That's the first thing. If we do believe that the problem is with the guest, right, which we, we discussed before, that the guest was being extra particular, that there were slight issues with property, but it was mostly the guest's expectation was at fault, then why are we apologizing for so many things, right? That would indicate that we have a disruption in, or we have an inconsistency between how we see the world and how we actually speak into the world. If we do really believe that the guest was being extra particular, that they were nitpicking, that they were just looking for faults, then we do not apologize for that particular type of, we do not apologize on behalf of the, of the property. We can say, look, you know, um, I think I think we said it there. We take your feedback under consideration, and we always improve our guest experience. The second sentence in what Caroline said: "There's no reason to apologize if you don't have anything that's wrong with the property, right? Um, that makes if you apologize for it, it does make you look like you do have something wrong. So stand your ground if you, if you truly believe it. If you don't believe it, then apologize, right? If there is actually a fault." with the property, if there's something that is not quite right, uh, I think then it becomes more appropriate to apologize. But a cheap apology is an apology for that's generic and not very specific for anything. And it tones down the brand and it does not inspire delight. It actually inspires uh, confusion and it inspires sort of a, a fuzziness around what you mean by hospitality. Next, we'll pass this to our team and we again apologize for the inconvenience based on our maintenance. Right. Was there actually a maintenance problem? Tendi, was there actually a maintenance problem? Well, pardon, sir? Was there a, a real maintenance problem? Uh, no, it is. So why are we apologizing for maintenance problems that don't exist? Once again, the second apology is also unwarranted. Yeah. It is. It, it shouldn't belong there, right? And then we hope you come back in the future and we're able to provide better service. That's great. I think that's that's a really positive tone to lift it up again. And thank you for your feedback and have a nice day. Great, signed by a person. Great, right? So there are some parts in there that are specifically, I think, very good. Now, let's go over to Chris's side. Chris's side from the owner says, thank you for the feedback. Section of the road caused by lack of funding to COVID-19. That is not true. That is bullshit, right? Um, that has always been that way before COVID-19. And, and I, I would not write that unless you were sure that that was actually the case. So don't write that because that's just not a fact, right? Um, the road has always been under disrepair and that's just the way it is. And perhaps it's not a problem, it's a feature, right? When you go out to certain places. The number one hotel uh, in the world that I went to recently, Capella, you have to walk downstairs to get to your tent a lot of stairs and the stairs are slightly muddy and they can be wet and that is not great but that doesn't stop it from being a number one hotel in the world does that make sense it's not a it's not a bug it's a feature it's supposed to be an outdoors tent like experience so you have to go through and experience this as part of the experience we cannot save you from that part so we don't need to apologize about the road the road is what it is and hey if you like finding secluded locations and you don't want a lot of random people to be racing and creating noise, well, th this is part of that experience, right? There's no, and there's nothing we can do about the road either. And that's the fundamental of it. So no need to even address the road. You can just say, hey, look, there is a bumpy road that gets here, but that's what makes this place so secluded and so private. Done, right? Next, um, I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed, okay. Chris was actually pretty uh, diplomatic he emphasized the positive points of the villa. That it is a beautiful villa and it has uninterrupted ocean views. Great, that's a fact, we can say that. So 
put that in, and that then reduces the, the sting in the property. Somebody's going to complain about something. Well, hey, there's some really good parts about this property too as well. And like, I like to emphasize that too. Um, so it's not defensive. It's just being factual and stating what the bigger picture and the bigger theme should be. Next, the villa is continuously well-maintained and modern and in good condition. Is that a fact? Let's go over to, let's go over to Tendi. Tendi, you have closest access to that. Would you say that's a fact or is that, is that not true? I uh, think that's not true. Okay, so how should we actually put it then? Uh, we will continuously uh, wear maintenance and 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 what's called and and try our best to make our villa in good in good condition. Okay, right. So let's, go back, my let's go back to what we originally talked about a moment ago when you said there were small cracks on the floor, but it was okay, and there was rust on the hinges. And that's okay. Are we going to do anything about that? Oh, for for that. So. Uh, over to under. I think the community should deliver that to give the motivation. I guess we, we need to actually address if we're actually going to do anything about it first, too. Right? Is that a feature or is that a bug? Right? Is that just part of like how the villa should be, or is it actually like something that needs to be fixed? We need to be specific about how to set expectations. So we just agreed earlier that these things are details, right? That they're not that important to fix because it's just the way it's by the ocean. And this is what happens to villas by the ocean. So now we're going to change and say that this is a problem. No, we need to just be consistent, right? If you do believe it's a problem and guests won't like it, then yes, okay, that can be fixed. But if you do believe that this is part of the villa, then then stand behind it. Don't shift your position from one side to the other. That that doesn't make any sense, okay? So if you believe that this is part of the feature of the villa, and this is the way the villa is, and it is maintained, and this is just part of how the maintenance works, then stand behind that. Don't, don't back down, right? If you do believe that it should be maintained, and it deserves a better look, and the cracks are significant, and not slight, then do something about it too through community. Does that make sense? Right? You have a choice. You have control. Just stand behind what you don't. Don't move from side to side. Uh, uh, that's that's not very consistent and that's not actually helpful uh, either. Okay. And some of the wood flooring needs repair, which can be finished in two days. Um, interesting idea. Let's go over to Tendi. Do you believe that that can be done? Um. Uh, I don't have any update from the staff as well. Okay. So okay. We need to follow up. Okay. So we have we have we have a solution, and we have actually a. I, I kind of like that idea of what Chris put in there. This is a minor mistake, and this can be repaired really quickly because we're addressing a future audience as well. Over to Tara. Tara, whenever we write a response to a review. It is never back to the person who actually had the experience because that person won't even read it. Um, they're, I don't think they're even notified when we actually write the reply. It's only for future people who will read it. So I believe what Chris has done here is actually quite elegant in a way. It is defensive, but okay, CR, um, it is defensive, but it does have some good points. He's He's stretching out what is the bigger focus. This is a beautiful ocean view villa with uninterrupted ocean views. And then he's also kind of like diluting the, the the scale of the problem, that these are small problems and they can be fixed really readily. And we will have these ready for the next cast, all right? Okay, so the end picture in all this, the hopefully the one takeaway I want everyone to walk away is, is consistency, right? If you do believe with your own eyes as a host, looking at this property, that there's something wrong, then that needs to be addressed to the people who have control, the owner, the on-site staff, so that they can fix it, right, before guests have to experience it. If you believe that it is not a problem, if you believe that, hey, Ocean View Villas should have a little bit of patina, they should have a little bit of, of effort to get there, that, you know, this isn't a easy journey, you should actually go through and see this as part of an experience, then stand behind that too. Be consistent. Don't move from one side to the other, depending upon which side might be happier or sad. And don't let the dissatisfaction or feedback from one guest shift your position on what you believe 
should be actually done. Okay. So I think that is the biggest takeaway and hopefully we can, we can implement that. I've already reported this to Chris. Chris will probably report to me that this wasn't assertive enough or whatever, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's, that's, I think something that can be done better. Okay. Thank you, sir, for bringing this up and so empathize our definitely uh, about things about how to can we manage or facing with this kind of problem, especially for HR and maybe you cannot uh, you show something that uh, related to in general things that we have to make something is more clear like what what's the real condition there. I think that's not only related to HR but related to anything that you want to fix about that. So I think we already covered everything about the discussion today. I will go back to the trailer card, choose who's going to be the next chair. Oh, Mas Bayu is here. Do you have anything that you want to ask or discuss, Mas Bayu? Uh, no, Andre, I have another meeting actually in this room. Sure, Mas Bayu, I'm sorry. We are and our time a bit. I'm just going to just who's going to be the next chair. Uh, I think Nadine should be the next chair since I uh, I am looking up her for the chairing today. And the next secretary will be Tendi. So uh, yes, I I have choose the next secretary and chair. So I think that's uh cover everything about the thing up today thank you guys for coming and thank you King, especially for uh giving us uh, that kind of advice to help us more and more to grow in the future so have a lovely day guys let you guys continue your work okay thank you very much thank you teddy for bringing up these issues and also thank you andre for sharing thank you everyone um for the new people you guys can stay uh for everybody else i'll need the space with by you yeah all right, let's begin again. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and stop that recording.